Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself for newcomers. I am born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like how the late Stanley did with his. For this particular footage, I'm going to introduce another notable character having to do with the Star Spangler known as Voodoo. And if you guys bear with me, I will introduce you guys to Voodoo. And you, I hope you would be interested in such. It's your choice, after all. Here's the story right here. And if I just hope you guys could be able to understand with me, you know? Star Spangler, number two. Voodoo. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, August 5th, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across the jungles of Africa until we start observing a little African girl foraging for native fruits. This story is particularly about her, despite that her real name is unknown. As she was searching for the fruits, she was wandering too close to a volcano and a lightning storm formed by it. Without her realizing it in time, she exhaled the toxic fumes and got struck a few times by lightning. Almost instantly, she was transformed into her adult self, along with gaining intense dark magic and an unbearable insanity. Due to the prejudice she and her people were getting from Americans, she decided to destroy every last one of them, naming herself Voodoo. After creating her mountainous lair, Voodoo looked at her magic screen in her bedroom and found that the Star Spangler was considered in her perspective to be a complete nuisance, and in the process, she created the cloud of smoke that made her disappear until the present day, when she was eventually recovered. Currently, the Star Spangler heard of Voodoo summoning her zombie armies and attempting to transport them to the U.S., when she went to Voodoo's tomb, she got her attention and asked, Are you Voodoo, the one who's commanding zombies to the United States? Why, yes I am. Since I was a child, I went through severe discrimination from you Americans. As soon as I got my powers, I urged to annihilate all things that involve prejudice, the U.S. being one of them. So, you are the one who made me disappear until the 21st century? Yes again, Spangler. You deserved it. And that statement outraged the Star Spangler that she immediately started fighting Voodoo. During the fight, Voodoo was summoning her zombies to attack her, only to have them smashed and fried by the Star Spangler. When all the zombies were defeated, Voodoo used her dark magic and expanded herself to a towering height with the help of the elements. When that happened, she and the Star Spangler wrestled as Voodoo ignited a volcano to burn her opponent alive. But since she could only be killed by Adolf X gases, the Star Spangler survived the burning and beated Voodoo into a coma, destroying her armies and her genocidal plot. After finally defeating her, the Star Spangler contained Voodoo's unconscious body into a stone coffin deep in her tomb, hopefully for eternity, and traveled back to the U.S. Unfortunately, we soon learned that a visiting archaeologist entered the t her tomb and made the fatal mistake of opening the coffin, thus continuing her unthinkable plots. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed that storyline, and I'm just trying my best to keep it satisfactory for you guys and such, because I don't want to leave you hanging or anything. So if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice altogether, and of course you could share this to others. It's also your choice. So up until next, well, until next time, I'm Leviathan, and. Hopefully you guys have a fine time and a fine Halloween and so forth. Until next time.
and transmission.